Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergi, and as you scroll through that comment section, maybe stop by that pretty little subscribe button if you haven't already. Join us. It's bliss. Anyway, you guys wanted more Harry Potter movie mistakes, and I have some for you. I love, love, love Harry Potter, but as with any movie, it is not free from little boo-boos. So let's giggle at the goofs they made. Wands out, it's time for the Top 10 Harry Potter Movie Mistakes, Part 2. Number 10. You must bring us another shrubbery. You are just and fair, and we will return with the shrubbery. In Prisoner of Azkaban, when we saw the outside of number 4 Privet Drive, we saw a bench and a window next to some shrubbery. But then later, when Vernon comes back out chasing after Aunt Marge, the shrubbery's gone. And where did it go? Did the bench eat it? Was it stolen? I need answers. Side note, is this even shrubbery? I think it is, but maybe it's a bush. If anyone knows plants, let me know. Some knights have been bugging me about it. One that looks nice. Of course. And not too expensive. Yes. Number nine, toast. Here's one from Goblet of Fire that is, you know, it's not really a big deal, if I'm being honest. When Harry's eating breakfast, we can see a rack with toast on it. Unfortunately, as so often happens, the amount of toast changed from shot to shot, since the scene was a combination of a number of takes. Continuity errors like this are pretty common, especially in a scene with a bunch of hungry teens who want to eat all the toast. Number eight, Voldemort's sleeve. This is another mistake from Goblet of Fire, and strangely, it involves a veteran actor, Ray Fiennes. When Voldemort's being a jerk and touching Harry's forehead, in one shot, his sleeve is rolled down to his shoulder, but right after, the sleeve is rolled up again. It's just surprising that you wouldn't notice this at the time. How hard is it to not realize your sleeves keep changing from shot to shot? Have some pride in your work. Number seven. In Deathly Hallows Part 1, we see Dobby and Creature adorably return to Grim Old Place with Mundungus Fletcher. It's a great scene, and the room looks super cool and well dressed, but in two different shots, while they enter, we can see that the table has different items on it from one shot to the other. But hey, these things are to be expected in a magical world, I suppose. Number six. The Revenge of Peeves. In Philosopher's Stone, when the kids are fighting the troll in the bathroom, we see a shot of a towel behind them that's all folded and crooked. But in the next shot, the towel is looking prim and proper. The only possibility I can think of is that Peeves was so angry at being left out of the movie that he got his revenge in the evilest way possible by folding a towel a little bit and then fixing it right after. Ah, I've ruined your precious continuity. Number five, Dudley's Duds. In Order of the Phoenix, we see that Dudley grew up to look exactly how you'd expect a child bully to look, complete with the shorts with logos all over the place. But later on in the tunnel, we see that he's wearing a different pair of shorts with logos all over the place. Bit of a whoopsies by the costume department, I guess, but the only thing worse than owning a stupid pair of shorts like that is owning two stupid pairs of shorts like that. Come on, Dudders. Number four, where's the box? I saw you with the box. When the gang was having that fight in the diner in Deathly Hallows part one, they weren't exactly careful with their spells. Glass is smashed, tables are blasted, and boxes go flying. But apparently one of the boxes just couldn't be stopped because it managed to find its way back onto the shelf between shots. Then it's gone again. Huh? Number three. What's on the note? Yep, gonna make two seven references in one video. Come at me. In Goblet of Fire, we see one of the twins pass a note to Ron that says, get a move on or all the good ones will have gone. Yeah, not trying the accent, I've embarrassed myself enough. But the thing is, when we first see it, there are clearly four lines of writing on it, but when Ron reads it, there are only three lines. What did the first note say? I must know, but it's too blurry to see. If anyone has Superman eyes, please let me know. I bet it's hilarious. Number two, Harry changes size. Don't worry, I don't mean he started working for Voldemort, although you would know that since you presumably know Harry Potter if you're watching this video. Look, it was a bad joke, let's just move on. Anyway, in Philosopher's Stone, when Harry first sits at the Gryffindor table, he sits next to Ron opposite Hermione. But then later, when the food arrives, he's on the other side next to her and Percy. This is such a huge mistake, I don't really understand how it made it through. Now, I guess it's possible that he changed sides between him sitting and the food appearing, but like, why would he? And he'd have to climb under the table or, or, or walk all the way around, I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Number one, ooh, magic candles. Way back in Philosopher's Stone, we were introduced to Hogwarts, the magical castle where magical things happen and everything is magical. One of these magic things was the candles. They floated like magic. But sadly, when McGonagall's rallying the teachers to find the troll in the dungeons, you can very clearly see the wires that were holding the candles up. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for more videos. This was my second time writing this video because my stupid computer ate my first one. It was sad. Let me know the worst time you lost work because of stupid computers in the comments section down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.